Alrighty, I'm Beck Lane and this is Catalyst and Company. Catalyst and Company, I have no idea what's going on with my clothes, but at least my hair is cut and there we are. We're a catalyst in each other's lives as well as our own and we do the work. We just do the work. Um, <laughs> and we work at being the artist we've always wanted to be. Behind me is a commission I was given a long time ago Normally a commission takes me maybe five days, uh, usually about five days, and with little breaks in between, so let's say a, a, a week. This has been a month. Uh, this, this poor thing has taken me a month to relax myself into and, and let flow. As we know, I had a number of interruptions, including Hurricane Ian, that sucked up about a week, um, uh, then I came, when I was ready to do the work, I was totally discombobulated, mentally and emotionally, absolutely discombobulated. And as one of my neighbors said, she goes, I can't, I can't focus. It's like we're still in the middle of, you know, there's a hurricane going. So we went through that for a while. And then of course I ended up in the hospital. Uh, I, and I have, this is my second go around, as we know, on this young woman. The original one was two canvases like I normally do, but I was so discombobulated and trying so hard, forcing the issue, forcing the portrait, which you can't do, uh, forcing the painting, that she came out with an enormous head and I ended up calling her Bobblehead. I called the painting Bobblehead Noir. Bobblehead Noir. You're welcome. Because the reference material is from 1945, I believe, in Paris. And so she was in Bobblehead Noir. The customer, the, the woman that commissioned me, agreed. She looked, her head was enormous. Jerry Lewis size head while he was taking medication, you know, a few years ago. Anyway, this big fat balloon head on the, on, on the woman's body, and she said, her mother's body, she said, you can start again. And instead of going all the way back to Tampa to get two, two new canvases, I said, just let me do this. I really think I was wrong on doing this on two canvases. Let me do it on one. You're going to need to build a bigger house. So we did it on the one. And again, this has taken me a really long time to relax into, and that's an issue I find uh, most artists go through. Um, people expect us as artists, not, not everyone, I'm not talking about this client, um, but I've had clients in the past and galleries too who think, well, what do you mean there's something wrong? Why can't you just get it done? Is it done yet? Is it done yet? Is it done yet? Send me a picture. Blah, blah, blah. Da, ba, da, ba, da. Like we're photocopying machines. And I've actually had to say this to a number of people. I'm, I'm, I'm not a printer. I'm not a Xerox printer. I'm a human being. And so sometimes things don't always go the way we would like them to. I know in the end, we're gonna end up with something um, we're going to end up with something I can be proud of and you're going to be happy with, but sometimes it just takes a while. So that is what ha has happened here. But I think now in doing this second edition, my mind has actually relaxed into it. And I'm looking at it on the, on my iPad in the reverse. And I actually think I've almost, almost nailed it. Almost. I've been futzing with her face for days, and yesterday was an example of, uh, uh, uh. I know in the end, and we all know in the end, that the artwork will pull itself together, hopefully. Hopefully, it'll all pull itself together. It's going to work out. But we all go through this where there's days and days and days where nothing seems to be going right. And usually to break that spell, I end up throwing my brushes at the canvas and yelling at them sometimes and yelling at it and sometimes just 
throwing it outside. Uh, we didn't get that far yesterday because what I did, and this is something I recommend, is if you're in that state of I can't get it, blah, blah, blah. Take your mind and allow it to relax. Focus on something else. Focus on something else. For me, it's other paintings. For me, it's other paintings in different stages. I actually took a lot of uh, time yesterday to uh, finish off the edges of paintings, as we do. This is how I treat the profiles I put on aerosols using stencils and things, and doing layers and layers and layers of aerosols. And once it's all aerosoled and in, then I'll take a, a um, I'll put, make, I have a glaze that I put over the top of it to darken it, to tone it down so that we have a frame on the painting, but without it being a frame. Because on paintings like mine, if we put a physical frame on there, the work goes from something large and expansive that it, uh, the viewer can really kind of, okay, I'm patting myself on the back, but the viewer can get lost into something that's very claustrophobic. It goes from feeling expansive to something small and claustrophobic and, and not as interesting. So I do the side, so I grabbed a whole bunch of canvases and pro got them ready uh, with aerosols and stencils, got them ready to glaze. Um, they're sitting out, the rest of them, or most of them are sitting outside now, tomorrow or the next day, whenever they're dry, I'll put hangers on them, again, to relax my mind. I mean, it's gotta get done. It's all stuff that's gotta get done in the end, but it's to relax my mind, distract myself, so I'm not in here hour after hour after hour after hour after hour after day after day after day, like I do, um, working and reworking and working and getting nowhere. You know, I've talked about this in many videos. Take the canvas, put it in another room, turn it around, put it up against the wall. And yes, I've done that here too. So I'm kind of being a slight hypocrite because I'm making all these suggestions of things that I do and that I have done, and it would seem like, okay, you've done this magical thing. You, point A, you've done this magical thing that you always do. Point B, it's finished. Everything's worked out perfectly. That's not life. That's a TikTok video. That's an Instagram video, and it's ridiculous, and it's deeply um, deceptive and untrue. There's a lot of weaving and tug of war and fighting in between point A and point B. Sometimes, like with me, with this young woman, it's been point A, point A again, point A again, keep turning it around, move it around the room, put it up and down, put it up high, put it down low, put it against the, your wardrobe, put it against that wall, put it against that door, put it against that door. It's point A, point A, point A, point A, move it to another room, turn it around, put it up high in the other room, have it staring at you when you wake up in the morning, have it off to the side so it spooks you when you, when you finally wake up in the morning. Point A, point A, point A, point A. And eventually, 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 we'll get to point B, eventually. It's just not stabbing the canvas in between point A and point B. But I think we found her. I think we've pretty much found her. I'm reasonably happy with her. I'm reasonably happy that she looks reasonably happy. There's one piece I don't like. It's under the lip. Looks like she's got a goatee going on. Just a slight under the lip goatee thing going on. I'll figure it out. All right, anyway, I'm Beck Lane. This is Catalyst and Company. If you'd like to help support Catalyst and Company, and all my ramblings and my weird clothing. Um, all the links are down below, including uh, information to the galleries or reps if you'd like pricing and info on having work done or buying anything that you've seen here. Uh, you can contact uh, Jay Louise at Blue Egg Gallery, Mark and Andrew at Chasen Galleries in, here in Sarasota, um, Jay, Jay Louise in Fort Lauderdale, Mark and Andrew here in Sarasota. And hi, Kitty. Hi, kid. Yes, I know. Yes, I know. Uh, yes. 
All set? Okay. Or Raphael Coelho in New Jersey. Um, but there's also links to T Public where you can get some of my work printed on merch and stuff, tooth bags and coffee mugs. Uh, yes, I know. Uh, Patreon, Patreon where I'm actually putting up more videos now because we can. And Cash App and PayPal. All right, everybody, take care. Carrie, once again, I haven't heard from you in a long time, my, my friend. I hope you're okay. All right, ready? Meow, 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 meow. My new neighbor's home, so I gotta stop talking. Because he'll think I'm crazy. Ciao, meow, 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 boy.